Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shift Gang 254. And on this episode, as you can see, you can tell I'm not happy. But either way, this is Shift Gang 254 in conjunction with Boosted Auto. And uh, my recruitment with the New Age Subarus is not yet done. So I'll hand you over to Mr. Vincent. Thank you so much. And like you've heard from the intro, the host today is not happy, but I believe at the end of this, all of us are going to be happy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are introducing a new entry into the Subaru market and welcome to Subaru Livog. Before we begin, I will want to take you through the meaning of the word LIVOG. The name LIVOG uh, has been taken, uh, is actually an acronym, has been taken from the word Legacy Revolutionary Touring. Uh, has been shortened and hence the name, the LIVOG. That is what we have here today. Uh, as usual, we normally begin our uh, reviews from the front, but today we, uh, we began from the, from the back, so that at least we bring you the introduction of this vehicle. So quickly, into the outlook of this vehicle, First of all, I'll have to say this, if you own a legacy out there, then you should understand that from 2013 backwards, if you own a legacy 2013 backwards, wagon, legacy wagon, then very soon it is going to be like a, a dinosaur. It is an endangered species for me to, to be precise. It is going to be extinct. So you better hold on it because there is no more. From 2014, there is no more legacy instead. All you'll be seeing on the road is this. The Legacy uh, was, first, was first out of the market, the Legacy wagon, wagon was first out of the market in 20, 2013, hence the introduction of the Livog. All the Legacies that you'll see will be sedans, unlike the wagons that you are used to. So if you have a BH5, a BP, a BR9, a BRG, all those, you better keep your eyes on them and look, the, look for them in a better way. Now. The Livog is actually a legacy and uh, somehow an Impreza put together to bring this kind of shape that we are seeing here. From the back, it has the outlook like uh, the ones we did before, the BS9 Outback. You can see the light is actually a copyright of the BS9 Outback. Uh, this is the, the boot garnish. The boot garnish has got a little bit of you know, pinched out spoiler out of uh, the middle center, uh, the, the mid of the, the, the boot. It also has the roof spoiler. Uh, double exhausts, as usual, uh, on this. Uh, what I was forgetting about to tell you is, the Livog come into the market in three different trims. We have the Livog GT, that is the basic trim, uh, or rather the, the most base model. Then we have this, this is the Livog GT, S, the Livog GTS, then on top of this we have the sportier version which is the Livog GTS Spec B. There are so many small, there are just little, not many, just little small differences between these three models. One of them being the GT, the, the GT model comes into the market with a normal suspension. Whereas the GTS and the GTS Spec B uses the heavy duty suspension, which is uh, in this case for Subaru, the Bilsten, uh, lowered and uh, a, a bit hard on the road. That is the only difference between the two. So the Spec B, like I've said, eh, the, spec, the GTS Spec B and the GT, being the middle and the most high end, have the Bilsten suspension, while the GT has got the normal Subaru suspension, which is the KYB suspension dampers, misleadingly called the shocks. Many guys use, are used to calling them the shocks. Now, the differences between the GT and, I mean, the differences between the GTS and uh, the GTS Spec B. These are the two high-end models. The GTS has got uh, the Subaru kit. You'll find that it has a lip down here, Subaru. It also has a front lip. It will have 18-inch black rims for Subaru STI. Then the start and push, I mean, start and stop uh, push button. Uh, engraved Subaru STI. That is the only difference. 
The rest of the things are the same, uh, engine power, uh, handling, uh, uh, oh, interior, the Subaru uh, spec, spec B has got uh, the STI seats as well. Well, having said that, I'll take you around the vehicle. We said we are working from the back to the front, unlike our conventional way of working. The Livog, uh, spec, uh, I mean the Livog GTS, like you can see inside, eh? it comes with uh, Alcantara seats, combined with a little bit of leather and very nice stitching, as you may see. The legroom has also been considered, uh, knowing that this car is a little bit uh, smaller than the Legacy. But I think I like the fact that the legroom has been really considered. We have our usual uh, well-finished cup holders for two. Can hold up to one liter, a mug or uh, maybe a bottle of one liter. The legroom, you can see, mini mtumrefu, lakini miguyangu. I have a friend of mine, and it was TJ. He can sit here vizuri, comfortably, despite him uh, being blessed with a lot of masses. And as a car, I think we shall do this test with TJ after this. So. The Alcantara seat, uh, for, all, for all of us, when you want to know what Alcantara is, this seat, uh, the material itself, is much better than leather, if you ask me, because of uh, breathing, it has got a lot of grip on, on uh, any temperature. Cold or warm, the grip is the same, unlike the leather, that varies with the grip on temperatures. So, uh, the only thing missing here, I think, is the, the rear ventilation for this car, but I believe if you get the, the Livog Spec B, has got, it should come with the rear uh, AC. In the cockpit, just like many modern Subarus, this car is also equipped with all those features that come with the modern Subaru cars. Uh, I'll talk about the stitching, the center console. Like we saw in those other Subarus, the same is also applied here. Very nice, you know, uh, stitching that stands out on the gear knob, on the center console, on the steering wheel. Uh, nowadays, the Subaru has adapted this kind of steering wheel, whereby, you know, like a racing steer wheel, eh, actually. It does not affect your, your legs down here, as you can see. Uh, it also has, you know, just like uh, the other Subarus, it also has the uh, lane assist, uh, first, uh, you know, lane assist button here, cruise control, uh, the sport shop. Just like all those other reviews that we've done, if you've been watching our reviews, I think I'll not dwell so much into these things because we've already talked about all those features, the heel assist, you'll understand that, the eyesight, uh, the lane assist, the, you know, crash assist, pre-collision assist, all those. Now at the front, this is where all the beauty lies. Come on to Impreza, the new age Impreza. Naturally, you will love this because it is similar. No difference with any Impreza out there. 2013, 2014 Impreza, 2015, same copyright. You know, this is just copy paste from the hood scoop down into the grill. Uh, but lately, if you are a Subaru enthusiast and you've been following so much about Subaru, you will realize that of late Subaru has been transisting from time to time uh, about their grills. Initially, uh, we had the rectangular shape grill, then they moved from the rectangular shape into the trapezium shape. Those are the likes of the BR9, the BM9s, the BRGs and the BMNs. They had the trapezium shape. Then, here comes a new introduction of a new front grille. This one, if you look at it correctly, it is a six-sided uh, shape. So automatically, this is a hex hexagon, or rather hexagonal shape, of which, to me, it has come out so nicely. Uh, big, bold enough, and it stands out. It brings about the beauty in the car. I like it more than the trapezium shape. Well, the triangular shape was 
I mean the rectangular shape, sorry, was uh, much better. But now, if you compare this with the trapezium shape, this one takes the day. Exterior, we have uh, high pressure headlight washer, just like all those other models. The, the hood and the hood scoop, similar to the Impreza. That's why we said in the beginning that uh, this is like bringing together the Legacy and the Impreza. Now, in the engine bay, I think there's one thing I want to emphasize also. This is for the user. I think we can just come closer and uh, have a look at this. Any day, this applies to any internal combustion engine out there. I'm not talking about the electric cars. Any internal combustion engine, the mark yellow, the mark yellow stands for checks, that is for the user. Any yellow sticker, any yellow marking on the engine bay depicts that you as a driver, you as a user, you are supposed to have daily checks. Well, not necessarily daily, but from time to time you need to have all those marked yellows to be checked around our power pack. This is a 2 litre horizontally opposed turbo engine or rather artificially aspirated engine. This means it has a turbo. 2 litre artificially aspirated in brackets turbo engine FA for this model. Uh, these are the new engines for Subaru. Uh, we first out, they first out the EJ20, not we, they first out the EJ20. So, if you love power, actually it is uh, the horsepower, um, I was about to forget that. Not more than 300, not less than 295, depending on the mood of your dyno on that day. <laughs> but uh, you should get around 296 horsepower from this particular engine. It is electric steering, uh, that is why you can clearly see we have so many computers around here and there. This is the computer for the steering. This is the computer for the steering. It, is, it has been put in the engine bay for easy dissipation of heat. This is also our ECU for the car, also in the engine bay, into the direct streams, whereby we can easily dissipate heat from the control unit because it gets warm as it operates. Uh, I think it's only that for the engine, unless there is something else I'm forgetting. But as usual, like you normally say, if there is something that we've left out, out of our reviews, you are free to write it down here and tell us that you left out this, we can always come back and do the review of the same. At the same time, if you feel like there is something that you need, I mean there is a vehicle that you need us to do a review, we have so many Subaru varieties, we can always do a review on any. So, uh, I would I urge you guys, our viewers out there, if you feel there is a vehicle you need to understand, or there is a feature on a Subaru vehicle that you need to understand, always write down here, we shall always do a, a review of the same, be it, be it a car, be it a feature on a car, be it knowing something on a Subaru, we shall always do that review with you guys, with your help. So, uh, just before I forget, uh, from 2014 onwards, we shall have this, a lot of them in the country. Uh, there is one thing I left out, it is good also to know. Any day you see a Subaru that has got, you know, uh, I think this is gun metal or silverish uh, side mirrors, you always know that that is the, uh, the top notch in that category. That is the top notch in that category. We've seen the uh, uh, legacies that come, the car is wine red but it has a silver side mirror. Uh, we've also seen the outbacks, the BPs and, and such likes that come, the car is black, but it has a silver side mirror, then you ask yourself, was it changed? Was the color uh, of the side mirror uh, done at some point? This tells you that the car is not uh, a normal entry. It is the best of the class. You'll ask yourself, why is it that this car has got a silver side mirror, yet I said there is a better trim than this? The other trim is a sport, is a sport version of this vehicle. So in this trim, this is uh, in this category of uh, the Livog, it turns out that this is the best trim in this category. Well, uh, we are now coming to the end of our show. Uh, if you like 
Our reviews always uh, give us feedback and if there's something that we've left out as usual, tell us in the comment section here and we shall do as you wish. If there is a vehicle that we've not reviewed and you feel you want to know about it, kindly just feel, feel free to text, I mean to write down here in the comment section and tell us you feel like we should review uh, this particular model and we shall do it. We do almost all, all the cars, but for Subarus, I'm urging you for Subarus, always ask, we shall do. We By do the way, every car. Yeah. <laughs> we do all cars, yes. but for Subarus, he has, he has some, some love, some yes, love, yes, yes, some yes. attachment. New Age. New Age. Yeah, you forgot to say that. Ah. New Age Subarus. Now, there's one thing you, you need to understand. Eh? Mm -hmm. Can I also challenge you? Yeah, yeah. Even though you are a, a bit old school and Pepe Kale and mm -hmm. all that. Eh? Zamazile. Yes. You know an airline? Yes, yes. The, yes. the 2.5 STI. The new age. Yes. Yeah, just use the term the new age. Yes. Yeah. What brakes does it come with? Yeah, it, it doesn't have Brembo's. It has the... It has similar. Yes, Isn't similar it? brakes, yeah. Why? Why do you think it has similar yet it's an, an STI? More horsepower than this? Maybe it's slow. <laughs> no, not mm -hmm. really, not really. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, there is one thing. Eh? You see, from 20, I think from 20, maybe 2010, mm -hmm. I'm not so sure, but from 2010, 29, 2009, 2010 there, the type of brakes that Subaru uh, started producing, stock brakes, eh? they are the four ports. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. They are the four ports. Even though they don't look like the, the, the conventional four ports that we're used to. Yeah, the one yeah. that has two circular things. It is, eh? it is called, uh, what is it called? It is, it is, what is it called? It has a name. My friend Moody normally says it. Mm. Taxin. They have oh, two taxins. Oh, taxin, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. the one that has two taxins. Mm. Leave alone that one. Okay. Now, the braking force on these normal brakes that Subaru are producing okay. is equivalent. The braking power is just equivalent to the four port. You understand? Okay. So this car actually has come with a four port that doesn't look like a four port. So you can say this is undercover four port. Yes. Four port to continue imagine. Yes. That is why mm -hmm. the airline didn't come with the four ports. Oh, and it's an STI. And it's an STI. Oh, that explains. The two liter manual mm. uh, uh, and 14 and 16, they mm. came with the Brembo's. Eh? Yes. But the auto version of it, which is the airline, yes. didn't come with the Brembo's because the braking force is just enough, just like the four ports. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, there is that, uh, the, the mechanism behind the way these brakes operate. Mm -hmm. That I think I can show you when Kibomo, Kibomo ni Kappa, I'll show you. All right. It doesn't, it doesn't act like the usual brakes that you have. It's a yoga riyako, it's a SG9 equivalent of the SG9 that you're talking about. Okay. So these ones, the brakes that are here already, they were enough for this vehicle to stop. Oh, okay. So, if you remove the brakes on this car, then you put the four ports. It's just the same thing that you're doing. You know, oh, okay. still the same. Right. So, mm. about the brakes, don't worry. The force here on this vehicle, the same as the vehicle, uh, the, the airline, the same as uh, even the, the normal BR9s, okay. they came standard with the four ports. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. It's only that they are not the four ports like you think, mm. but the force. It's applied on, this, on those brakes eh, mm. is just similar mm. like the four ports. Oh, okay. The disc is bigger, mm. the caliper itself is also bigger. I'm not talking about the non-turbo. The turbo. 2010 turbos, all of them yes. onwards. Mm. Any Subaru 2010 onwards mm. are turbo. Mm. The braking force on those brakes that they come with is equivalent to the braking force on the four ports. All right. Yes. There you have it, guys. If there's any other question. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Before you start talking to the guys, mm -hmm. are you impressed? Well, we will try it out. Uh -huh. I'll feel whether it's stopping. The so far, up to now, mm -hmm. the level of uh, your am amusement. Yeah, talk of safety. Yeah. Safety, yes. Yes. Comfort, yes. Yeah. But the spirit, yeah. doggo. Uh -huh. Doggo. We are going on the road. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want to. I want to sit on that seat. Mm -hmm. I want to. Uh, I want to drive it. So okay. mm -hmm. after that, mm -hmm. we shall come back and see. And see, and then you'll tell me on camera. Mm -hmm. Are you impressed or not? Yes. Well, yeah. So, so we hit the road. Yes. Ah. With this car, you can pick up anybody on the road. You know <laughs> what I mean. <laughs> you can pick up anybody. Anyone. Anyone on the road. Yes. A anyone. Anyone. Ah, Any size. Good. good. Okay. I'll do that. Then. So. <laughs>